Hey guys, uh, I'm going to take you through what I've done to my 1406 Edelbrock carburetor. So I've already uh, broken it down and rebuilt it and put it back together. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm just going to disassemble it so I can uh, show you guys what I've learned about the carburetor and you know maybe it'll some of the tips that I've gotten will uh, help somebody else here so I'm just gonna uh, break it down real quick here and uh, yeah these little clips here they got to come out and what I've done here is I've kind of made a probably a good uh, one of the ways that I've been told to do it is you know take the carburetor apart I'm looking at it like you were looking uh, at it I'm calling this the right side it's actually the driver's side front so we can break the top of the carburetor down take that one off there and uh, we got this one over here for the uh, choke take that guy off put that one out of there and then we'll continue taking the uh, and then uh, I'm going to give you guys a list of tools that I've used too here and we got a, a couple Torx heads here uh, one's a T20 one's a T25 a little bit bigger one and then I've had a standard Phillips screwdriver a pick here and then of course I got a I uh, used a toothbrush and this chem tool carburetor choke cleaner and then I got a micrometer over here and I'll show you later uh, with a little gauge here that comes with the rebuild kit right here there's mine 14 there's the uh, 1406 there's the uh, date code on it and of course this one uh, it should have been a new carburetor it's not stamped from the factory as a rebuild which would be right underneath there so and then I made a little box here so I could kind of set it on here and open up the you know the uh, second primaries and secondaries okay so the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, pull the meter metering rods out and I think what I'll do here is just uh, peel back these and just uh, just take these guys out and leave these tabs on here so I'm going to set this on over here so I'm going to take that guy off pull the spring out here and get this other side real quick here these guys will pop right out we don't want to we don't want to uh, take it Taking it apart isn't a big deal, but putting it back together with these on there They've got to fit down inside of the uh, Main jets and so you don't want to force these metering rods down into there You don't want them bent or anything. So take that guy out springs And I think we'll just leave those guys there and continue taking the top off I'm gonna take this top off and I'll bring you guys right back Okay guys, got all the screws out. I'm just going to leave the accelerator pump in and I might mention that on the 1406, the factory uh, where the accelerator pump rod was in. It's the center hole right here on the accelerator pump. That's where factory is. So I'm just going to leave this uh, all. Should be able to get the top off. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll this guy right over like so. And there we got the accelerator pump. Uh, we got the two floats in there and we'll go over the float adjustment here in just a little bit I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the inside so we got our uh, primaries here Venturi's and we got our secondaries and we got our weighted uh, secondary flap here we got the baffles for the um, so what I'm going to do here is the best view is probably this side so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take apart this side these should be able to just whip out so you can see which direction that these are sitting uh, with this uh, little raised parts gonna sit back so I'm just gonna set that right there um, I'll go ahead and just uh, okay so this is gonna be the changeover uh, bit here uh, this these well let's see the accelerator squirter is And of course all the gaskets have been put in here and everything so we're just going to take the squirter right out here and set it there now below here 
is there's a little I'm not even going to take this out uh, there's a I'll just show you what came out of there there's a little ball bearing and a brass weight right here the ball bearing drops in first and then it's followed up by this weight and we'll leave that guy in and then of course we got a we got an accelerator pump spring that comes with the kit this is the new one right here just drops right down in there we'll just leave that guy there well actually let's take it out i might be flipping the carburetor over here so then i'll just go ahead and uh switch out this bit to the next biggest one here and i'll just take out uh the one of the primaries here just to show you the primary side And uh, what I ended up doing is once once I got the carburetor all stripped down, then I used the carburetor cleaner there. It's pretty nice and really nice that this carburetor, I wish I would have taken a, a before picture of it because it was really just cruddy. I was really surprised to see how nice and shiny this was. It has the factory coating still on it. Really good, really good down there. I was really happy to see that. So anyways, here's the primary. Right here, Venturi's coming out. And uh, we got our gasket down there. Only goes in one way. It came out pretty easy. Uh, these things I brushed uh, with the toothbrush here inside of some of the chem tool and blew all these orifices out really good and blew the whole carburetor all the way out real good they look to be in really good shape so we're just going to go ahead and stick this guy back in there and it only goes down on there one way there we go and uh just to point out too that we want these little um openings that stick up they want you want them you'll know that they're right because they're facing aft the top won't go down unless they're in the right place so let's just go ahead and put that guy back in there button that back up the uh, secondary venturi is exact same thing i won't even take them apart they look exactly the same once you get both of those out then this little butterfly weighted flap for the secondaries comes out it only goes in one and works one way put this guy back in here snug these guys up is all we need to do is just kind of snug them there we go. They're snug. Now, the main jets and the, the main jet is right there coming off the main Venturi. The secondary jets are back there. I'm going to go ahead and one thing I notice that you do want to do is get the right screwdriver that fits down in there and fits tight. I'll go ahead and pull one of the, okay, it just gives a little click and it's out. We're just going to remove one of the secondary jets here really quick and I'll show it to you. There's a number on it. You can read it. There's one of the secondary jets right there. Uh, I can't really see the number on it, but there it is. Little trick if you if you would like is when you put it back in, you can just put it on you can put it on a pick like this and run it on in there. It it's only going to go in one way. And if you want to kind of back it up just a little bit, it'll kind of you'll hear it click then it'll go in get it in and then give it a little bit of pressure and just tighten it down okay so we're going to go ahead and put our baffle back in here push it all the way down so the so it's lower than the top so it's more than flush down um kind of nice with these carburetors this little in just case you get a needle or a seat that plugs up it'll go ahead and cross flow over to the other one to keep you from flooding okay i think that uh pretty much covers that part of the carburetor we'll go to the bottom of it after a little bit here and some of the other adjustments okay so let's just take this off of here for a second and slide it right over here and we'll real quick like we'll look at the bottom of the carburetor here so um, what I've done is I went ahead and set these up for 
a little bit hotter climate. Uh, the, the ethanol and the fuel boils at a real low temperature. So actually they, they want you to set these at uh, 7 sixteenths. You roll a 7 sixteenths drill bit underneath them. And um, just to give you an example here, 7 sixteenths turns out being a 4 in inches uh, 4.3 so I've actually don't have a 7 16 drill bit so I just did a measurement on the end of this in case I have to set this later uh, to the 7 16 but right now I got a half inch drill bit underneath there and what you want to do with your gasket in place like that you want to roll the bit underneath until it just touches here, I'll go ahead and I got a half inch right here. Just take me a second to grab it. Then I can show you a lot better on how the half inch rolled underneath there. Okay, so with the gasket, because the gasket has to be part of the equation here, I'm going to try to show you. You can see it a little better. Oh, this is better. Okay, just as the drill bit comes underneath there, it starts to get the apex. It starts to lift that float. Same with on the other side over here. Just as the apex of the bit. And then now there's a drop that's also... And if you, if you make the adjustment for the uh, float height, you want to bend the tab right behind here. I don't want to put any pressure on the needle seat I'd recommend you could put a pair of needle nose pliers if you want right there and hold it and then tweak this one way or the other or just simply take the pin out of here and uh, make a small adjustment and then put it back in and then your then you got your drop float is this way and they want it to be 15 sixteenths so right here we got a I actually used a a framing square on it or a little t a little small square but you can see how the inch mark hopefully you can see that the inch mark is there and right to the top of the float I'm at 15 16 so there's your drop and you get that adjustment by I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these out real quick and show you So you get your drop adjustment by this this tab right here. And again, you want to just hold the body, take a pair of needle nose pliers, and then you can give that a little tweak to get your drop. We mentioned before getting the float uh, uh, with the drill bit underneath there. You want to hold this part, either like I'm doing now or with a pair of needle nose works really good, and then uh, tweak the float a little that way. In here... You have your needle and seat. There's a new needle right there. Seat, uh, what you want to do with this is I have a big uh, screwdriver and you want to bridge across. Uh, I don't know if I use this big guy or not, but see, that's a really big screwdriver. You want to be able to bridge across that all the way so you can crack that loose and then there's a gasket underneath there same thing just snug up is good so we're going to put that guy back in we're going to set our float back in there and put our pin oops put our pin back in here like so and then of course we put our new accelerator um, diaphragm on there that was new so Okay, I set this aside here, and then we're going to put this back on here. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this. And uh, when you when you put this back on, you, I just simply roll this over. Keeps the pins and the floats and everything. You can line the accelerator 